This is a quick video tutorial just to help you in working with songs and our song library in Elvato, particularly if you're adding songs. Now when you log into Elvato, as usual, you'll come to the member area and you need to now go to the admin area by clicking underneath your name on the admin area link. Once that's loaded on the left hand side, you'll find um, a list of options that you would have um, depending on your level of access. And if you go here to songs and click on songs, um, you'll see that it brings up our song library. Within here are all the songs that have already been added and uh, you can quickly search on them by typing up here in the uh, search area. So if I start typing a song name, uh, it'll start narrowing down what options there are. From within here, um, you can also add songs um, to the library and uh, that is done by down the bottom here on the blue button clicking add song. So if I do that now, it'll bring up a screen to add a new song to our library. All you do from here is add the, um, or start to type the song name and it will work with our CCLI subscription and bring up the songs that are on CCLI that match that name. So for instance, if I start to type praise is rising, and then give it a second, it's going to search song select and it's come up with some options that might, might be the song I'm looking for. Um, the one at the top here is the one that I'm uh, selecting, so Hosanna, Praise is Rising. Uh, you'll notice I didn't have to have the whole name, just as long as I had some of the words for the name. Now if I select that, it'll automatically put in the CCLI number here for me and it will have some things that are attached to this song automatically, like the artist uh, name and also a default um, chord chart. And if you look down here, um, it's got a number of keys there and G is selected because that is the default uh, key that this song is written in. Now, if you wanted to at this time, you could choose um, to add other keys to this same song. So I could choose E for instance here. And the other important thing to do is to make sure that you select this button here that says allow downloads. What that does is allow any of our uh, users, our members and volunteers to download any of the items like chord charts that are associated with this song um, from CCLI. Uh, if you want to, you can also tick the button here that says it's a song to learn. Um, what that will do is will load this song into uh, people who are using Elvato as a song to learn or kind of flag it as a song to learn and remind them that uh, that is up the top there is one of the songs I need to learn. Um, another good thing to do is to just uh, choose a category to go with the song. Um, these categories are not uh, comprehensive, but if you can fit it into a category, it can help when we're searching for particular songs. So in this case, I'm going to choose Praise and Celebration for this song. Um, you also have the option to add a, a, an arrangement to this uh, particular song to choose a starting key and ending key. Um, and other details like that. Mainly you can ignore that area, just click save once you're happy with all the other settings. As, as soon as you click save, um, that song will be saved to our library and it will bring up the uh, particular entry in our library. So here we are looking at the library and at the particular song Hosanna Praise is Rising. Um, now in, at the moment um, there's not too much attached to this song but I now have the option if I want you to add other files to this song. For instance, if I click add files here, um, I can choose to um, add a video of this song from YouTube and I could add that in right here as an embedded video with this song. All I need is the YouTube um, URL address to, to stick in here and I would click save. Or I could import uh, a, a chord chart, another one that I might not have done before when I was setting up the song. So if it's missing a particular um, version of the song in the particular key that you would like it, just choose it here, um, choose what key you want and click save. And you can also upload things from your own computer. So if you had your own version of this song, um, you could actually scan that into your computer and uh, we could choose that it is a, a, a chord chart that you've done and just put the file here where it says drop file and click save and it will add that file to the song too. Uh, I find it helpful to have at least uh, a video on YouTube for a new song for people to learn um, and also any other um, important information that might be required for 
our musicians. Okay, when you're happy with that, you would click Save. In my case, I'm going to click Cancel. Um, and now that you've added a song into the library, if I go back to our song library here, you can see that it has been added and it's been added as a song to learn because I ticked the box that said this was a song to learn. Um, when you're looking at songs also, um, just so you know, you can go between different pages here um, of our song library as well as typing in the search bar here to find them. Um, you can too, uh, once you've found a song that you want to um, uh, change or add things to, um, you can edit these at any time. So if there's a note that you need to add to a song for all the musicians to see, we'll just type that in the box down the bottom here. Um, you can see with this song here, that there are a number of files associated with this song. There are lyrics, there's a chart, and there's a video. Um, and that is the ideal thing that you would just add the, the files that are relevant uh, for the songs that you have put in. So that's working with songs and adding songs to our song library. You cannot add a song to a new service that you are planning until the song is in our, our library. So if the song is not already in our existing library, uh, please make sure that you add it first before editing your service that you're planning.